Good afternoon. I'm Officer First Class Ryan Teal with the Annapolis Police Department, and today I'm here to talk to you about walking smart. Now, I've been in, uh, I was in the Army for eight years. I've been with the Annapolis Police Department for ten, and if it's one thing I know, is that you have to have, have an acronym for everything. So we threw three S's on the word smart. Here's what they stand for. Strut smart, step smart, and street smart. Strut smart is your everyday walking, walking to your car, walking to, uh, to class, uh, walking to the grocery store, stuff like that. Step smart uh, is your exercise uh, crowd, all you uh, power walkers out there, that one's for you. And your street smart is kind of your after hour crowd. Um, uh, happy hour, out with friends, weekends, stuff like that, having a good time. So uh, we'll get right into it. Uh, the first thing that uh, we're going to talk about is, uh, is the loss and responsibilities of a pedestrian. The first one up top here says, pedestrians are subject to all traffic signals. Not just the ones that you want uh, to pay attention to, uh, all of them. Uh, the second one uh, says that a pedestrian may not suddenly leave a curb or other place of safety and walk or run into the path of a vehicle which is so close that the vehicle cannot possibly come to a complete stop. Basically that's saying that you share the responsibility for your safety. Okay? What's the driver's responsibilities? Uh, at a crosswalk and intersection, the driver must stop for a pedestrian inside the crosswalk. We all know that. Um, what we may not know is that the pedest if the pedestrian is on uh, the opposite half of the roadway, the, the vehicle can continue uh, going, through, going through traffic. The pedestrian is on half of the roadway on which the vehicle is traveling. That's when uh, the vehicle has to come to a complete stop. All right, the driver and the pedestrian share 50% 50 of the responsibility for your safety. That's true, that's a fact, okay? If, if you don't pay attention, you could get hurt. If the driver doesn't pay attention, you could get hurt. All right, so the, these tips are for, for everybody here. Uh, pedestrians only have the right of way when the driver can reasonably stop. We already talked about that. The second one here, drivers can't read your mind. That you can't read the driver's mind, so why could they read yours? Make eye contact, they come to a complete stop, you go through the, uh, go through the crosswalk, uh, walk, uh, walk safely. So, there you go. Alright, here's some tips for you. If at all possible, be visible. Uh, wear light colored clothing, stay in well lit areas. Uh, some of you business people out there might wear your black suits, your brown suits, but uh, you know I got my purple shirt on here. Uh, hopefully when I cross the street people can uh, see me come. Uh, stay alert. Stay off your phone, don't wear your headphones in both ears. Uh, you got to be able to hear uh, what's coming, going on around you. So take those headphones out, at least put it in one ear if, if nothing else. Follow the rules. Follow traffic signals. Never assume that the driver uh, knows the rules. It's just um, walk as if uh, they don't know anything. If, if you uh, make eye contact and, uh, and when they come to a stop, you cross, it's better for you. Uh, walk in safe places. Use sidewalks, use crosswalks, etc. Uh, this last one can be hard, uh, but Try to avoid alcohol when, uh, when you're walking. It's not against the law, but uh, here's a stat for you. 50% of pedestrian accidents involve alcohol. 34% of those are on the pedestrian side. So is uh, walking with alcohol safe? I don't think so. All right, now on to Step Smart. Uh, for all my Walking Dead fans out there, uh, got a picture of some walkers up there. Uh, 
Walking is the most popular way to exercise in the United States. Are you a walker? If so, I hope you uh, pay attention to these, uh, these tips so that you can step smart. Uh, some more stats for you. Approximately 4,300 pedestrians are killed in America each year. Another 69,000 are injured. That's an alarming, alarming rate for something that we do on a daily basis. Here's some tips for you. Most of you know, if, if you're uh, exercisers, uh, you're probably going to know some of these, but hydrate, stretch, uh, use comfortable shoes, uh, wear lightly colored clothing. Uh, again, very important, make sure that, uh, that people can uh, see you coming. Uh, choose your route carefully. Make sure that it's, it's well lit, well traveled. Uh, people know people are going to be able to, uh, to find where you are. Don't go out in these remote places and, and not tell anybody where you are. Uh, carry water, uh, carry your ID, carry your cell phone, uh, water obviously to hydrate, ID so that you can be identified uh, or be able to identify yourself and your cell phone obviously to call somebody uh, in case of an emergency or, or you uh, fall and hurt yourself or something like that. Uh, I said it again, make eye contact with uh, the oncoming driver, make sure they see you, they come to a complete stop, you cross. Some uh, buzz sayings here for you, be aware, cross with care. I think uh, that was the big, uh, uh, big saying when I was little, be aware, cross with care. Uh, Make contact with the driver before walking in the roadway. I think that's three, four times that I've said that. Pretty important, I think. Uh, the second one, uh, pretty blunt, but uh, very good point. Don't be dead right. All right I think that's self-explanatory, but okay, congratulations. You had the right of way. But is it worth the hospital bills, the funeral costs uh, for your family? I don't think so. Don't be dead right. And distracted walking can be dead. I say it again, unplug your headphones when crossing the street, hang up your cell phone, text can wait, and, uh, and look up while you're walking. Back up a little bit, text can wait. I guarantee that the other person on, that's receiving your text doesn't feel that it's uh, that important, as important as you do. All right. On the street smart, obviously, uh, once again, I'm going to be starting with some stats. 80% of sexual assault victims are under the age of 30. Probably because uh, uh, that's who's going to be going out in, into, a, into a crowd, everything like that. Um, that unfortunately, that does also include, uh, include children. So, uh, One in five women will be sexually assaulted. One in five women will be sexually assaulted. Very high number. Four out of five sexual assault victims know their attacker, whether that's uh, for a limited time in a bar or something like that, or, um, um, or family members. Uh, this is the one that jumps out. Every time you uh, read some stats, something that's it's gonna jump out at you. 70% of sexual assault uh, sexual assaults are not reported to the police. That, that jumped out at me. That's, that's an alarming number. We need to cut down on that somehow. We need to get, if, if these happen, uh, we need to get those reported to the police. Um, and hopefully, uh, with videos like this, uh, we can uh, uh, make people safer, but also make people aware that uh, if, if crimes do, are committed that we uh, that the police know about it so that they can get these uh, predators off the street. Here's some tips for you. You'll you'll notice a pattern on some of these, but uh, don't be distracted. We mentioned that one. Uh, stay in well lit areas. Mentioned that one. Uh, stay in heavily traveled areas. Know who to call uh, if you do get in trouble. Obviously, 911 is a good number. If uh, for some reason you don't think it's an emergency, 410-268-4141 uh, is our non-emergency line. That's directly to our dispatchers. Um, 
here's one that uh, I've read in, uh, different things about this one, but I'm always gonna uh, side on, on with with this here. Walk like you own the place. Walk with confidence. Keep your head up. Be uh, pay attention to what's happening around you. If 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 you walk like the own own the place with your head up, make eye contact with those people who are coming. At the at the very least, you uh, uh, you could possibly identify somebody uh, who uh, who could commit a crime later, uh, a sexual assault. Um, we could that could uh, that could help as as we move along in this type of thing. Uh, more tips: take a friend, or at the very least, let someone know where you're going. It, uh, all too often. We just roll out the door and uh, forget to tell anybody where we're going. Let them know. Uh, carry a whistle or a noisemaker. It's always good if, uh, if you can carry something that will, will get somebody's attention if you do get in trouble, whether that's uh, uh, just falling down, getting hurt, or uh, if, uh, if being attacked. Uh-oh, I say it again. Don't walk drunk. All right, drugs, we know this. Drugs and alcohol affect your perception, your reaction time, and your judgment. There's, there's no dispute in that. I, I think uh, everybody will agree on those, those three points right there. All right, we put them together with walking, uh, maybe walking not at a, uh, in a well-lit area or not on a tra uh, traveled path uh, in, a, in a remote place or something like that. And uh, we can see that uh, the dangers could uh, could rise with with each one that we do. So uh, I'll just put it out there: don't walk drunk, uh, don't overload, uh, keep your arms, uh, keep your hands open, keep uh, make sure that uh, that you don't have uh, your arms overloaded with stuff, carrying stuff, uh, could make you a target. Um, the last one here. Uh, is something that the city of Annapolis uh, uh, just launched. Uh, uh, light up your street. Help your neighbors walk safely by uh, switching a light on at night. Uh, if you're worried about energy costs, you can always go with uh, motion sensor to save some energy. Plus, it'll help uh, with. <coughs> excuse me. It'll help with. Uh, uh, some security for your home. Uh, you'll know when when someone comes on onto your property within a within a certain distance. So, uh, kill two birds with one stone there. All right, that's my presentation on walking smart. Hopefully, if you uh, if you take take my advice, take these tips into uh, consideration, you'll walk like these guys up here in a well lit area, a well traveled path. Uh, they wear they're wearing bright colored clothes, bright colored clothing, they look alert, that looks like a good walk. The two down here, I don't know if you can see them, but uh, this lady here, uh, she obviously was distracted and ran into a pole, and the gentleman over here uh, is going to wake up a little sore if he wakes up, uh, because he just got hit by a car. So, um, take these tips into consideration and walk smart. Thank you. I'm Officer First Class Ryan Teal with the Annapolis Police Department. Walk safe.